Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have learned a lot of things about percentages. Let us try to solve some of the questions now. Question number one, convert the given fractional number into percent 3 by 40. So 3 by 40 is the fractional number. So how do you convert it into percentage? You multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. Now everything except the denominator 100 is considered as one number. So you write it as 3 into 100 divided by 40 and this denominator 100 gets represented by the percentage symbol. So this becomes 2 into 20, 2 into 50. So this 0, 0 cancels out. So you get 15 by 2 percentage. Now 15 by 2 if you convert it into decimal. So you get 7.5 percent. Question number 2. Convert the given decimal fraction to percent. That is 12.35. So first of all let us try to write this decimal number in fractional form. So this can be written as 1, 2, 3, 5 divided by 100. Why two zeros? because there are two digits after the decimal point. So now we have a fractional number. So we'll repeat the same process. We'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. So we will consider all of these together. So this becomes 1, 2, 3, 5 into 100 divided by 100%. So 100, 100 will cancel out. So this would be equal to 1, 2, 3, 5 percent. Question number three, estimate what part of the figure is colored and hence find the percent which is colored. So when you look at this figure, how many total parts do you have? How many total uh, triangles do you see in this figure? So the total number of parts that we see here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So total parts is eight. And how many parts are colored? So colored parts are one, two and three. So three parts are colored. So can you tell with how what fraction of the circle is colored? So fraction of the circle that is colored. So fraction means how much out of the total parts of the circle is colored. So we will say three parts out of eight parts. So three by eight. Now we have to represent this. So we have already estimated what part of the figure is colored. Now we have to find out the percentage which is colored. So how do we calculate percentage? All we need to do is we need to convert this fraction into percentage. So for that we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. So this entire thing will come together that is 300 by 8 percent. So 300 by 8 is nothing but 37.5 percent. So this percent, 37.5 percent of the figure is colored. Find 20 percent of rupees 2500. So how do you find 20 percent of rupees 2500. So 20% is nothing but 20 out of 100 of rupees 2500. That means multiplied by rupees 2500. So the 100 into 25 gives 2500. So this would be 500. So 20% of 2500 would be rupees 500. Question number 5. Find the whole quantity if 8% of it is 40 liters. So in this case also we do not know how much is the whole quantity. So let us assume that the whole quantity is x. So let us say that the whole quantity is x. So as per the question 8% of x is 40 liters. So we can say 8 we can say 8% not 80. So 8% of x is equal to 40. So this can be written as 8 out of 100 into x is equal to 40 or we can say x is equal to 40 into 100 divided by 8. So 8 fives of 40 this is equal to 500. Therefore the whole quantity was 500 liters. Question number 6. Out of 15,000 voters in a constituency, 60% voted. Find the percentage of voters who did not vote. 
so how many voted 60% that means if we assume that the total number of voters is 100 then 60 out of them voted so what does that mean how many not voted so how many not voted would be 100 minus 60 now we are talking about the percentage only here so it this doesn't mean that 40 voters did not vote it means 40 percent of the voters did not vote because when we say 60 percent we mean that if we assume that there are total 100 voters then 60 of them voted so how many did not vote 40 did not vote so if there are total 100 voters then 40 of them did not vote so 40 percent of the voters did not vote can you now find how many actually did not vote so can you find the actual number so this is the number only when you consider that the total number of voter is 100 but the total number of voters in reality is 15,000 therefore actual number of people who did not vote so what would be that actual number? That actual number would be nothing but 40% of 15,000. So this would be equal to 40 by 100 into 15,000. So this would be equal to 6,000. So 6,000 people actually did not vote. Question number 7. Divide 15 sweets between Manu and Sonu so that they get 20% and 80% of them respectively. So you have to divide it in such a way that Manu gets 20% of the total sweets. That is 20% of 15. And Sonu should get 80% of total number of sweets. That is 80% of 15. So 20% of 15 would be 20 by 100 into 15. So this would be equal to 3. So Manu should be given 3 sweets. Similarly, 80% of 15 would be 80 by 100 into 15. So this would be 2 4 is 8, 2 5 is 10, 10 4 is 40, 10 5 is 50, 5 3 is 15. So this would be 12. So Sonu should get 12 sweets. So 3 sweets to Manu and 12 sweets to Sonu. Now if I ask you to find out the ratio of the sweets given to Sonu and Monu, that would be 3 by 12 which is 3 is to 12 which can be written as 1 is to 4 because 1 is to 4 and 3 is to 12. These are equivalent ratios. So the ratio of the number of sweets that Manu and Sonu has is 1 is to 4. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.